Hey everybody, this is Peggy, and I just want to take a couple minutes here and show you some of the new products that just came out January 3rd, 2014. This is one that I bought, was the Banner Framelit Dies, and I love them. You're going to get six different um, sizes of banners, and they're real popular, and what I liked about them is that they're so versatile. I can use them for all kinds of things, and so I just wanted to show you this. Now, this is a little magnetic sheet that I get at the hardware store. It's, um, it comes in a pack of three. They're like five bucks, and you can cut them down and they actually use them to cover registers. I don't know why you would cover your register but there must be a reason and so anyway I'm glad that they have them because I'm able to keep my dies from sliding off. So that's um, our little banners. Now the thing that it goes with which is really awesome we also have the perfect pennants. Now this set is it matches perfectly they've sized it up so everything works great and I loved it because it has sending good thoughts and birthday wishes and then you can use it for Valentine's and I'm loving these two up here to do backgrounds with. I love background stuff so that's cool. The other thing I was real happy it's such a versatile set of stamps is that I have a heart and a star so again doing backgrounds but I can also then either fussy cut or use a punch to cut these out. You can stamp right on your banners. I mean all kinds of things. So this is called Perfect Penance and I'll run all the info at the bottom of the video so that you can see how to order those. But I just wanted to share with you the different um, sizes. This is kind of comical. I stamped these ahead of time and then I was going to die cut them and I stamped it too close to the edge and I thought oh well I'm going to make my banner go on the other way. Who says it can't? So then I used the background again here in a couple of different colors. The colors I used are Pacific Point and then, you know, this was a memento ink, I can't think what, desert sand. This was the olive green, and then this was a sky blue color. I don't remember the name of that one either. This one I used Pacific Point and Strawberry Slush on this one, and I loved it. So the other cool thing is you can use these on gifts, and you can use them like on bags at the corner, which I've got some bags I'm going to be making for birthday gifts. So look at the different sizes. It just cut out a couple. This is kind of a neat thing you can do. You can layer your dies and then I can actually get a frame to go around something. So that's kind of a neat thing that they nest that way. I wanted to show you how I also used our wood grain embossing folder which I love for fall things and for guy things. When I was cutting out this banner it was kind of a good accident. I cut it out of a piece of scrap I thought but actually this was a panel that I was going to use for a different card. So there's the banner I wanted to show you that I'm actually going to use. Where did it go? here because I thought that would be really great. Life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful and put that on a little thinking of you kind of a gift. But look what happened. I got these little fuzzies everywhere. I cut it out here and I thought oh darn that was a front to a card. Well you know what I'm just going to emboss it. So I did. I laid it on the card front and kind of guesstimated because I don't use the stamp -a jig or thing -a jig. I'm not very good with that thing. I haven't got it figured out quite yet. I will one day. But I stamped in the center and then I used the border here added a little blank and now I have a really cool what I would consider a man's birthday card. Isn't that cool? So a happy accident made into a card. Well that's all I wanted to do today was just to show you that this is one of the things that just came out um, that you can use to make some really awesome cards and the other thing I'm going to be using this for is I've got some scrapbooking. I'm going to be doing it today while my husband's watching his Bengals play football and I'm going to use this across the top of a scrapbook page to put the title. Well I hope you've enjoyed this little video and again at the end I'll give you all the numbers and you can go to my website, Stamping Up website order. I also have a blog where I post daily and I'll put that on there as well. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day. Bye!